Moses, the prophet and hero of the Hebrew Bible. He's been depicted countless times in literary works and cinema, but the general consensus among scholars is that he was a legendary figure and not an actual person who existed in real life. So what if Moses was real? That's the question we are asking right now on Life's Biggest Questions. Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that asks the fundamental questions of life and occasionally answers them too. I'm Charlotte Dobre. Hit that subscribe for more daily questions that will have you asking more questions. And make sure you stick around until the end of the video where we will be responding to users comments. Most of us are familiar with the story of Moses by now. It states in the book of Exodus that Moses was born during a time when the Israelites were enslaved and increasing in numbers in Egypt. The Egyptian pharaoh who ruled them was growing concerned that the Israelites might form alliances with Egypt's enemies. So the pharaoh ordered all newborn Hebrew babies to be killed to still the growth of the population of Hebrews. But Moses during this purge was hidden by his mother who set him afloat along the Nile River. He was found by the pharaoh's daughter Bithia. He was adopted by the royal family and named Moses, an Egyptian name. Somewhere along the way, Moses found out he was Hebrew and he killed an Egyptian slave master for brutally assaulting a Hebrew. Moses fled Egypt and went to Midian where he encountered God who spoke to him through a burning bush. God demanded that Moses be sent back to Egypt to demand the release of the Israelites from slavery. But the pharaoh refused his request. So as a result, God sent 10 plagues upon Egypt. Then, led by Moses, the slaves fled Egypt and crossed the Red Sea, which Moses parted. This event is commemorated by Jews on Passover. The Israelites based themselves at Mount Sinai, and Moses then received the Ten Commandments. Moses is also mentioned in the Quran, only in the Quran he's called Musa. He's also mentioned in Christian scripture, and he appeared to Jesus at the Transfiguration. And Moses is supposed to have been the person who wrote the Torah. But outside of biblical scripture, there is hardly any evidence that proves that he actually existed. That is right. Nada. No archaeological records, no historical records. Egyptian, who were famous for their records, never mentioned Moses or the series of events in Exodus. There isn't even a time frame for when the events that took place in the Exodus happened. We also don't know who the pharaoh in Exodus was. Films portray him as Ramses II, but historians have not found any evidence to support the claim that he lived during the reign of Ramses II. According to Cyprian Broodbank, professor of archaeology at Cambridge University, Exodus was, at best, a refracted folk memory of earlier expulsion of Levantine people. I mean, think about it. Religious historians say the Israelite population of Egypt was at 2 to 3 million people. 2 to 3 million men, women, and children fleeing Egypt? Why isn't there any historical record of that anywhere? Egyptologists have reportedly found no record of the Hebrew people in Egypt or the 10 plagues. That being said, there were 100 Egyptian kings that are not accounted for. Only 20 are confirmed by inscriptions. And the area of the Nile Delta was damp, and any evidence could have been destroyed. If Moses was real, it would have been more likely that he left Egypt with a much smaller exodus group, not millions of people, perhaps a few thousand. And the 10 plagues? Yeah, well, it's unlikely that they happened. The 10 plagues are probably just myths. At least, I hope they were. That would suck. But if Moses were real, that would mean that he somehow crossed the Red Sea with fleeing slaves. He might not have parted the Red Sea with the help of God, but there are a couple of scientific explanations for this iconic story. According to some experts, models suggest that strong winds could have swept through a lagoon in the Nile Delta, not the actual Red Sea. Or essentially, the Red Sea was not a sea, but a sea of reeds, a swamp. Interestingly, Yamsuf, the name for the Red Sea, could have been translated to Reed Sea or Red Sea. This could have created a channel that would have allowed the fleeing Israelites to cross it. The Sea of Reeds once laid where the Suez Canal now runs. Crossing a swamp isn't nearly as cool as crossing a sea that has been parted in two, but it might have been what actually happened if Moses was in fact a real person. According to actor Christian Bale, who played Moses in the film Exodus, God and Kings, Moses was likely schizophrenic, and he's also one of the most barbaric characters he's ever read about in his entire life. I mean, like, that's definitely a possibility. Moses did talk to a burning bush that he believed was God. If Moses was real, and Bushes really were speaking to him, I would be pretty concerned for Moses. But just because Moses was probably not an actual person, at least not the person described in Exodus, that doesn't mean the story of Exodus is not significant or important. But we hope this video has at least given you some insight into what actually happened and what would happen if Moses was real. For now, I'm gonna wrap up this video with some comment replies from my last video, What If The Earth Were Under Attack? Bryce said, It is, by T-Series. Well played. The Wigless sister said, What if SpongeBob was real? Um, my life would be complete. Dominic Majors said, I wonder why no one ever considers the possibility that aliens aren't super advanced. 
for sure people consider it. In fact, more people consider that they're not advanced than people who think they are advanced. But for the purposes of the topic you commented on, the aliens would have to be advanced. Otherwise, they couldn't travel to Earth to attack it. Allison Hall said, I love your videos. They are the best. Thank you, Allison. I am glad you like them. Pikachu Overlord said, What if the cast of Life's Biggest Questions was being held captive and forced to feed us information? Shh, don't tell our captors, but that's what's actually happening right now. Help me. Thank you so much for watching Life's Biggest Questions. If you enjoyed this video, you will love the playlist that's clickable on your screen right now. And make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so I can see you in the next Life's Biggest Questions.